Listen guys, sometimes reality is stranger than science fiction. Netflix's three body problem got a Chinese billionaire murdered. Let's run the clip. A former lawyer has been sentenced to death in China for the murder of Netflix producer Lin Shi. All right, first off, we got to acknowledge he looks evil. He looks like he's showing no remorse, at least in the snapshot photo. Not only that, he's a lawyer. What do you think was going to happen? Don't you study the law? The show Three Body Problem was released by Netflix earlier in March. Days later, a former lawyer who secured the series, Xu Yao, was found guilty of the 2020 murder of Lin Qi over a business dispute. Lin was called China's billionaire millennial as his company owned the rights for the film adaption of this series. Xu was found guilty of poisoning Lin after he was sidelined over the Netflix deal. Listen guys, poisoning your boss is something like very much from like a C drama or like a Wu Sha Pian. This was like a super ancient thing to do, even though apparently he was more inspired by Breaking Bad than the poisoning in all like 5,000 shows that show that in Chinese. Obviously, this just went viral in the West. This has been going viral in China for like four years now, but due to the death penalty sentencing, that's how we're getting our information now. Of course, we're not getting the full discussion that's happening in China because nobody's gonna translate the comments. There's such a chasm between the two worlds, to be honest. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at the Next Shark article. So long story short, there is uh, this guy right here who's 39 when he got killed, RIP to Lin Chi. And he was the head of Yuzu Games. Yuzu Games, they made some of the uh, uh, Game of Thrones games. They also bought the rights to Three Body Problem because this guy, Lin Chi, he really believed in modern Chinese stories going global because right now everything that's getting exported is more like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Monkey King, and stuff like that. He wanted to export modern Chinese stories like Liu Cixin's book written in No Way, translated in 2014, sold to Yuzu Games. Yuzu Games was actually trying to shop it around for a while. He puts Xu Yao, a lawyer, on the, the property rights, the IP licensing rights sales with Netflix. However, due to poor performance, Xu Yao, this schemey looking guy right here, I'm telling you, he already looks schemey. Um, basically, after he gets demoted, he begins plotting his revenge soon after, going as far to set up a laboratory to test out the poison he bought from the dark web on dogs and cats. And of course, you know, the, the, the medicine or the, the lethal chemicals he bought off the dark web were methylmercury chloride, a toxic compound. Then he brought it to the office. He actually put it in poor tea, essentially like bobas, minus the boba, but like the tea that he was bringing for everybody like, yeah, hey guys, I got something here in the, for breakfast. It's great. And it was like, oh yeah, thank you, true y'all. Turns out he was being evil. Um, he also gave Lin pills, masked as probiotic pills, which contained lethal substances. Obviously that leads Lin to check himself into the hospital. Of uh, two other employees that drank the poor tea also got sick, but they did not pass away. And uh, yeah, long story short, it, the sentencing came a day after Three Body Problem debuted on Netflix. And Xu Yao was one of the guys that was the main guy on that team to make the licensing deal happen. Of course, RIP to Lin Chi. Um, you know what the crazy thing is? Is that a lot of Wu Sha Pians or a lot of like Chinese dynastic things, you know, some of them are more realistic. Some of them are more erring on the supernatural. There's always these evil protagonists. So initially when I heard this story, I was like, this dude Xu Yao definitely sees himself as one of these guys. But apparently it came out that he was actually inspired by Walter White. So, you know, that was a little bit interesting to me or confusing. Of course, a lot of people in London are talking about it because obviously the American remake moved the story from happening in China to London. And there was a whole controversy around that too, but this video is not about that. A lot of people were saying, man, how come that guy didn't try hard enough to keep his job, Xu Yao, because he ended up getting demoted, but then he tried so hard to murder everybody in secret. And it just goes to show you when you find something that motivates you, you clearly start overachieving. Of course, that is a little bit of a crass comment, but it is the internet. It's also interesting. That's the nature of the internet, guys. Somebody said, too bad he didn't poison DB and Weiss to keep them from butchering three body problem like them and Netflix did. That's also a crazy comment. It got downvoted a lot on Reddit. And uh, yeah, just a lot of people sharing a lot of different opinions. I'm sure the discussion on the Chinese internet is different than the one that's happening on the American internet because, you know, it's like they follow in this saga like OJ Simpson over there or like, um, you know, the various cases, uh, Casey, um, you know, just a lot of murder cases. Obviously there's, there, there's local, there's news 
that stays hyper local within a country and other countries they'll get wind of it but they'll just get like a very raw blueprint version of it because they won't be uh tapped into all the sordid details and the drama and they won't you know relate to the characters anyway guys i got three major takeaways from this number one is that china is such a steampunk country in a way because if you think about it like uh china it's like they got this like hyper modern like gaming company right yuzu and they're doing video games for everybody they can make the most complex in-depth games for cheaper than everybody just due to the you know a high volume of engineers and programmers and stuff like that but then the boss still got poisoned from one of his you know due to a, a corporate office political dispute that is so ancient literally if you read stories about ancient asia whether it's japan china korea vietnam there was always people getting poisoned back then and that's why they had all these different tools that they were dipping in the tea or dipping in soups and stuff like that to determine if like arsenic or whatever the ancient version of arsenic was in it so it goes to show you that china is still really steampunk in the sense that a billionaire from a gaming company which is literally something that only existed in the past like 10 years still got poisoned in a in a fashion that is like more akin to like a thousand years ago number two it also goes to show you that like it, it kind of makes me mad because i'm like man this dude lin chi and i don't know if he's a good dude or a bad dude he seems like a good dude he wanted to spread modern Chinese culture to the rest of the world by licensing Three Body Problem and, and, and buying the rights from Liu Cixin, holding on to it, pitching this company, pitching that company. And it's like he wanted to, to show that modern China wasn't just the cultural revolution that is depicted. And like we said, that cultural revolution in China is real, but there's also a whole modern China that is not that, that really doesn't get shown, right? And even in the Western Netflix version, they sort of washed that side out because they knew it wasn't gonna appeal to the uh, average Western sort of layman consumer. And it's like, if we, this guy Xu Yao doesn't care, right? He just cares that his money got hurt, that he's not getting the bag he was supposed to get from the licensing deal. So he kills Lin Chi. He's not even thinking that Lin Chi is gonna do something important that all Chinese people or really the globe would want to show the other side to show some cooler stories from China, show that China's got cool sci-fi stories, maybe show that China's got a cool office drama. Realistically, they're clearly their office drama will mimic dynastic dramas if you if you're using this even as like a CSI SVU like based on real life event stories. So, anyway, guys, and my last thing point to take away from this whole you know R.I.P. Lin Chi, uh, Xu Yao uh, murderer story is that like Chinese billionaires got to be on watch because. I know a lot of them were kind of leaving China due to maybe they're feeling like, you know, they don't want to be controlled by the government or this whole thing with Jack Ma. Some of them want to play with it. Some, you know, one of them don't want to play ball. But it's like, at the end of the day, if you have to worry about like what you're drinking from what subordinates, that's like a whole nother thing. And, you know, I think China has always had like internal trust issues for the longest time, for whatever reason, in the ways that I don't really see in Japan and Korea or Taiwan or you know, Hong Kong is 50-50, but like Singapore, I don't see it. And it's like, it's just gonna be something that they need to take care of if they are gonna continue to move forward and uh, take the steps, you know, hit, basically hit the checklist to be more respected and be more developed. And it's a very unfortunate story. It's very tragic. Let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments section below. Um, obviously, as far as three body problem not being faithfully replicated or not doing modern China justice, I'll say this, man. Um, I like the show, but clearly, yeah, it was very like old school Western narratives. So that's for what it is, man. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this murder case in the comment section below. Was it the Santi? Was it the Sofans? All right, you guys, until next time, we out. Peace.